Hello again, or if this is your first time, welcome to the Canting Club. This week we have a white from the Basque country, on the northern coast of Spain, right next to the border with France. The Basques call their local wine Charcoline. It can be red, white or rosé, but it's mostly white, and if it is, it's mostly made from the local grape variety, the Ondarabi Tsuri. So is this one, but it also adds in about 5% of another grape much grown around here, the Gros Monsang. Gros Monsang, as the name suggests, is originally French, but only just. It hails from the northern Basque country, just across the border into France. This wine may be made from the typical grapes, but it doesn't look like typical charcoaline. It's too dark for a start. Most charcoaline is very pale, almost water white. This is a medium lemon colour, very deep by comparison. Most charcoaline also is a bit fizzy. It's got a, f not like champagne, but with a little froth of dissolved CO2 to emphasise the freshness. I can't see any of that on this. There's no bubbles clinging to the side of the glass. So it looks unorthodox. How does it smell? Mmm, now that's a wonderful nose and really different and distinctive. It's quite pronounced. It's filled with sharp citrus, lemon peel. And there's floral notes in here, chamomile. But the points of difference come with this pungent grassiness. It's like hay and hops. And there's even a whiff of petrol, which is a lot more appetising than it sounds. And that's all wrapped up in a sort of stony, leasy minerality, reminiscent of wet stones and damp plaster. Really fascinating stuff. I wonder what it tastes like. Mm. Whoa. Bone dry and razor sharp and with a sort of a sea spray note. This is a bit like being hit in the face by an Atlantic wave. Tremendous stuff. And that is very much charcoaline. As is the citrus flavours, but they're not normally as intense as this. This has really powerful flavours of grapefruit, backed up by some green apple. It's light-bodied, or maybe just a tiny bit more, but the flavour intensity is terrific. And that causes the finish to last and last. And on it, the grapefruit flavours are joined by some bitter almond quality, very appetising, and more of that saline mineral quality. Wonderful. This has some similarities with other cool, wet climate Atlantic coast whites. The sort of saline mineral quality is reminiscent of Muscadet from the mouth of the Loire in northern France, and that aromatic citrus razor sharp intensity is a bit like Vigna Verde from the northern coast of Portugal. But there's some really different and distinctive things on this, like that amazing grassy petroly intensity on the nose, which is something I've only ever smelt before in aged Australian Semillon, one of my favourite wine styles. I love this wine. It's it's got such purity and focus. It's like a stripped down racing car. Fierce intensity, clean lines, sharp edges, and not an ounce of excess weight anywhere. Beautiful. Cheers.